Hi everyone, so uh, back to the Chevette problems here. I've had a, an issue here for a year now where my key, uh, when I turn my key to the start, everything would work, but when I get to the start position, I'd have to do this wiggle movement to get the starter to connect or get power to the solenoid. I thought it was a starter at first, so the solenoid wasn't getting power, but obviously I wasn't hearing a click, so I knew that was more of a deeper issue up on the column here. So I uh, dropped the steering column, which is two 15 millimeter bolts, and then uh, loosened up the, uh, there's one right down there, I can point it. There's that 13 millimeter right there. Loosen that guy up, but don't take it all the way out. And obviously you have to take your cover off. So then I removed the two, uh, there's an eight and an eight millimeter nut on top and the two eights. Sometimes there's two eights. I don't know what was going on here, but there's an eight here and an eight on the other side. And I took the switch out to look at it. So let's go look at the switch. Okay, so here is the switch that I took off of one of my uh, steering column parts. Good thing I have a dozen of those things kicking around. So inside the switch here, I removed the uh, switch itself. So it looks like uh, it's a grease issue. There's a couple, I'll point it out. On this part here, it's upside down and it rides on this here. And you'll notice this part is upside down and it rides on this. And you'll notice there's some bearings in here. So I'll flip that back over and it'll look like that. And this piece will move up and down from the uh, key rod, the, the rod that the key is pushing on. So looking at the internal parts, and here's our problem. It's just an issue of, of uh, old grease, not making contacts. So yeah, these bars here, obviously they fell out of their position. And all of this stuff is getting greased up and it's not making a connection across the bars when I move it. So I'm going to just take a used one, clean it up a little bit, and I'm going to install it, plug it back in. Okay, my mistake here. I was just going to go any further. I just flipped it over to get rid of all these little uh, pieces. And, well, I guess, lo and behold, here we have the problem. You can see there's arcing across right back here. I'm losing my whole position. I don't know if you can see that in the light. There you go. You see there's smoke here on the side. So I don't know if any of you have ever encountered that issue with the Chevette on the ignition side. So there we go. You can see it better, clearer. So yeah, she's finally, we lost position for contact. So we're going to put a new one in and we'll be back on the road. Okay, so I'm back again at it here. I attempted to put this guy here into the car and yeah, it all fits and everything. And uh, the rod goes in the hole here. And when I put my key position, it wasn't in the right or position at all. So I looked at it again and here we are. This is the broken one. I'm realizing that, here's the broken one. I'm realizing that if you take a look at these two here, you'll see that this pocket here does not line up with that pocket where the rod moves back here. This is where the rod would move on that brown one that I tried to put in. And on the original one, it's further down. Like I said, they look, they look identical, but it's the orientation of this pocket here is uh, in a different place than this one here on my original. So I'm gonna put this guy in and hopefully that's gonna do the trick. Okay, this is the last time. Now, this is the, the ignition switch I took out of the tilt column off a parts car. And this is the tilt column switch that is broken, not good, broken. And there is a difference that does have this little cover here that's pinned in like that and rocked in as you can see on that one whereas the other ones don't have that cover and I didn't think nothing of it uh, so the orientation of the pins are correct this time three on the bottom two shiny zinc ones on top 
Whereas if you look at this one here, it works all the same. Two shiny zinc, three on the bottom. But it is an actual reverse of it. So there you go. It's reversed completely. These all line up, but it's 180 degrees. So looks to me that like there's three different switches. Old style, non-tilt, newer non-tilt and then there's the specific tilt switch and it's all about this positioning my my rod was actually on the starter point on the off position on the key and then on the on position it would be i couldn't even get it to that point but it would be uh off so let's get this guy installed now all right, so I got the switch back in, and what I did notice also is I can actually go with my ACC accessory and get power. That was not working before, and it's all got to do with those uh, copper slides and the dirt, dry old grease in that switch, probably not making contact. Oh, look who's on the car. There's Charlie, trying to get in again. We'll say hello to him. So, uh... Yeah, let's give her a shot here. Lights come on to the regular position. And that switch has to be centered. There we go. Oh man, I used to fight with this thing for almost a year now with jiggling it. And I think I didn't have much time left as it was arced that bad. All right, there we go, another fix.